Welcome to Master Mathematics in Minutes. Today's topic is about the angles of quadrilaterals, and we'll cover a couple of examples on how to calculate the angles of quadrilaterals, and we will conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, what are angles of quadrilaterals? The sum of the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. We'll consider this visually. Firstly, by looking at a trapezium with angles A, B, C, D. We have the sum of these angles, A plus B plus C plus D, is equals to 360 degrees. The next example is a square, with angles E, F, G, H. And the sum of these angles is also 360 degrees. The next example is a rhombus, with angles I, J, K, L. And the sum of these angles is also 360 degrees. The next example is a rectangle, with angles M and O, P. And once again, the sum of all of these is 360 degrees. And lastly, we have a parallelogram with angles Q, R, S, T. And the sum of all of these angles is also 360 degrees. We'll consider a couple examples now. In the first example, we're asked to calculate the angle X. So we're given the rhombus and we're asked to find that angle. So we know that the sum of all of the angles in a quadrilateral, or in this case, a rhombus, is equal to 360 degrees. And so we have x is 360 degrees, which is the total, minus 100 degrees, which is that 100, minus another 100 degrees, which is that 100, and minus 80 degrees, which is that 80 degrees here. And that gives us x is equal to 80 degrees. In the second example, we're asked to show that the sum of all of the angles in the square is 360 degrees. So visually, we have a square with angles E, F, G, H. And so, if we sum all the angles, E plus F plus G plus H, and we know that the angles on each side of the square is 90 degrees. So we have 90 plus 90, plus 90 plus 90, and that gives us 360 degrees, and we've shown that the sum of all of the angles in a square is 360 degrees. In the third example, we're asked to calculate the angle X. We're given a trapezium in this case, and this angle is labelled X, which is what we're trying to find. So, to do that, we can recognize that this is an angle on a straight line, and so we can label this angle as A. And so the total angle on a straight line sums to 180 degrees. So we have A is equal to 180 degrees, which is the angle on the line, minus 82 degrees, which is that angle. And that gives us A is equal to 98 degrees. And so we now have three of the interior angles in the trapezium, and that allows us to solve for x. So the sum of all of the interior angles is 360 degrees in a quadrilateral, or in this case, a trapezium. So if x is equal to 360 minus 82 degrees, which is that 82, minus 82 degrees again, which is that 82 degrees, and minus a, which is what we've just calculated, so that is 360 degrees, minus 82, minus 82, and minus 98, which is A from above. And that gives us X is equals to 98 degrees. In the fourth example, we're asked to calculate the angles A, B, and C. So we're given a trapezium here. So starting with the first angle A, 
We know that this line and this line are parallel lines. And so A is equal to 77 degrees because these are alternate angles. And so we have A is equal to 77 degrees as the first answer. And we know that this is a straight line and the angles on the straight line sum to 180 degrees. And so B is 180 degrees, which is the angle on a straight line, minus 77 degrees, which is that 77 degrees. And that gives us B is equals to 103 degrees. And so to solve for C, we can use the fact that the sum of all the interior angles sum to 360 degrees, and We'll set that as C is equal to 360 degrees minus 85 degrees, which is that 85, and minus A and minus B from what we've calculated above. And so that is 360 degrees minus 85 degrees minus 77 degrees from above and minus 103 degrees from above. And that gives us C is equal to 95 degrees. To summarize, the sum of the angles in the quadrilateral is 360 degrees. For trapezium, we have angles A, B, C, D, that sums to 360 degrees. For square, we have angles E, F, G, H, and that sums to 360 degrees as well. And for rhombus, with angles I, J, K, L, that sums to 360 degrees. And for rectangle, with angles M and O, P. That sums to 360 degrees as well. And finally, for a parallelogram with angles QRST, that sums to 360 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics in Minutes.